all tried. At least in this aspect we are all united. Any guess? Eating. Laughter. <laughs> yeah, I will tell you. Helping each we other. We all love to have more and more comforts in life. Mm -hmm. This is a no-brainer because we are all cut from the same canvas called mankind. If you have a 32 inch TV, you would like to go for a 55 inch one. If you have a two wheeler, you would like to go for a car, not a three wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a two BHK house, you will, you, will, you will try to move into a three BHK one. In other words, we would like to move from lower level comforts to higher level comforts in life. This narrative throws open a question and a challenge. What is required to move from lower level comforts to higher level comforts in life? And how it can be achieved? Very good morning, my dear Miragis and the guests. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Interestingly, this phenomenon starts right from your birth itself. When you are a little child, you are totally at the loving care of your mother. Father, see, please excuse me. <laughs> All things are taken care, including timely meal, cleaning, bathing, dressing, and even a lullaby too for your sound sleep. You are absolutely comfortable. But are you settled down there? No. The impulse of life urges you to move and crawl. While learning to crawl, you fall flat with your bleeding nose, you cut your lips, you bruise your hands, you bruise your knees. The transition is not at all comfortable. And yet, you will not stop until you learn to crawl. Now you are crawling and you are happy. But you are settled down there? No. Again, the compulsive impulse within you urges you to walk. While learning to walk, you fall several times in trying to stand and balance and at times you hurt yourself. Nevertheless, these things will not deter you from mastering the art of walking and then running. Because it's a commitment for you to walk and run, but at the same time it's a nightmare for your parents to take you to a mall or a function or a bog will you move. Yes, the fact of the matter is, children are great teachers in several walks of life. If a child is unknowingly going through uncomfortable transitions from moving from Walk, uh, crawling to walking to running, it is giving a strong message that even for us to move from lower level comforts to higher level comforts, uncomfortable transitions are required. Yes, you need to come out of your comfort zone. This is the formula of life and this is the script of life. Now, you are all professionals. Yes, my dear professionals, let me analyze how this formula is going to script your professions. Gone are the days, if you do the same work day after day after day, your job is secured. But you know pretty well, in this new era, a new generation Z is going to come with new competencies, new technologies, new masteries and they will have an edge. If you continue to remain with the same set of competency level learned two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, you are gone. Or you will face an embarrassing situation of someone much junior to you becoming your boss. This is the stark reality. Would you agree or not? Yes. yes. This is the precise reason accepting miracles we at Toastmasters are trying to learn this most uncomfortable transition of trying to learn this art of public speaking, let alone mastering it. Against all arts. What are the arts? Stammering, stuttering, blabbering, mind going blank and what not. I am being honest with you today. I am not at all comfortable with public speaking. But I know the value of this public speaking, this communication. Let me let the cat out of the bag. An untold story. For two consecutive years, I was denied promotion mainly for the reason I was not good enough in my communication and presentation skills to top management. But after my uncomfortable transition post masters, it not only ensured my transformation, but it also ensured my getting the due, that is the promotion. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, 
in this juncture and in this context i would i would like you to ask this question yourself how can you grow fastest in life shubhdeep there is no magic <laughs> your life has been a series of lower level comforts and you are committed to go through uncomfortable transitions you are committed to come out of your comfort zone lead into higher level comforts and you do not want to settle down there and this cycle continues only when you keep your life in transition and only when you are not having the feeling of settle down you can grow fastest in your life therefore my dear ladies and gentlemen i would like to hit the nail on its head before i conclude without the willingness to go through a painful and uncomfortable transition of labor a woman cannot bring a new life into existence similarly without ever willingness to go through an uncomfortable and painful labor of transition of moving from lower level comforts to higher level comforts you just cannot gift yourself a new and a fulfilling life ladies and gentlemen do you have any choice or oh, thank you